live here at Rebel Headquarters, aka the Command Center. Let your man's know. Uh, today we're joined by another expert in this. <laughs> <laughs> Expert's a strong word. I had you've been studying this all your life. You you you, you know some of this. It's funny. Did you hear RTJ four yet? No. It's a, some of it's about this basically. Uh and shit. Before I haven't been able to listen to nothing for real. Man, you missing it, bro? I know. Uh, so as you see, real quick through the recap, we got DC going strong. Rob Providence cops don't care apparently because there was a curfew at nine, but they're not enforcing it, which is good. San Fran, at, at least yet. Columbus is massive again. It's beautiful. Austin, uh, they've been going hard the whole time. New York, can't tell because this dude's like weird. Uh, he got some pizza though <laughs> earlier. That pizza looked good as fuck. So shout out to New York Pizza, Flutter Nutter doing Flutter Nutter things or whatever. And Jessica Frost got the uh, Seattle versus the uh, Umbrella Squad uh, cam back up, which is beautiful. So some of the things at Seattle, which is the real one I've at this point that matters, and Portland's cop riots, Columbus's sheer fucking size, and everything is very important. And then the main city ones are kind of normal at this point, but that's the real outliers. So the Seattle one last night, shit got mad heat. The woke Twitch streamer channel that's been getting donos off of this and has a chat. You can only chat in the chat if you subscribe for five bucks and shit. They cut the feed right as pretend everything in Portland and Seattle was getting its most tense. The night before, they streamed all the way to like 7, 8 in the morning in D.C. where dudes was gunning down the, the guards as they were falling back into <laughs> behind their fence. <laughs> Man, they had Secret Service and Riot Shield. I was like, oh shit, someone about to get bopped like it's Call of Duty out here. Hey, whose lie was it that this is about the Secret Service? <laughs> this is so bad. So, uh, oh, JL on Psychosis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Secret Service is weird. Just a name. <laughs> that was the one I was watching when the shit first started going down because I was like, if it pops off there, dudes will get shot on sight. They ain't playing around outside the White House. <laughs> And so last night they took the stream down, everything got high after posting a Black Lives Matter thing, and then it went away. It's kind of like the diffuse off. The chat's always leaning more towards on the side of just a race war because anytime it's ever the, the protests ever get real deep or something, they get real bored and shit like that. Uh, for the most part, I mean, it, it, more or less. I mean, don't it's not a hard science on on that, but all shit's popping off there. The Seattle communic the feeds go in and out all the time. Either Seattle has dog shit internet or they're fucking with the connections. Uh, there was a guy in a local feed for the Seattle one showing the choir group, a.k.a. the fucking military, because they kind of stand up to like a choir group at a certain point. Big protest, wherever the fuck that is. Wow. Uh, <laughs> uh, fucking, uh, and, and then there's a guy with a V-mask saying that and i was putting in the chat yo they took it down they took it down be you know you know be alert be alert something could happen and dude in the chat was saying no nah, it's back up i checked it periodically i got us all streamed it was down so somebody was running on counter op to this and so but nothing happened truly in seattle because of some other reasons i'll get into but the real thing was is, but portland did have a police riot and the police did go bonkers again there. And they did they did suppress the First Amendment heavy. And so and that wasn't covered by them. And that's what's sketchy. What do you think about what happened in Minneapolis when they were burning shit to the fucking ground? I, I wasn't paying attention like then because that shit always happens at the start. I don't know. like Because the ones that happened like, the, oh, that's Vancouver showing up. Bro, in Minneapolis, at one point in time, they had a gas station, a post office, a Wells Fargo, a Arby's, and like an office supply store all on fire at the same time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, as you saw, America will burn a whole fucking country down in the Middle East for for something that comes out of the ground. I don't trust anything at the start of these when shit's getting hectic. For and 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 as you saw in the bigger cities with the looting, they just let them loot. There's like 60 billion cops on the dick of peaceful protesters, but not one (laughs) for looting. That tells you everything. Yeah, Minneapolis, like they just gave up, man. They were like, you know what, you can loot. (laughs) They They, (laughs) they just gave up, man. For like six hours straight, they were just out there doing what they wanted to to that city. (laughs) You know, and they looted that liquor store. There was motherfuckers carrying so many cases of beer they could barely walk. (laughs) This one dude came out with like four cases of Corona. It's like, what the fuck? (laughs) 
they hit when they when they looted that fucking office supply store. Dudes are carrying like printers in each hand. These two dudes got the safe out and rolled that bitch out Dude, into the street. Have you seen and the we're ones? trying to open the safe. Have you seen the ones with like ATMs in the street? <laughs> yeah, dude, they're just smashing ATMs and shit, trying to get money. <laughs> Yo, side note, you see they uh some dude vandalized the strange music car wash? <laughs> no, are you serious? <laughs> yeah, what dude, broke their see? fucking ATM, yeah. I didn't know they had a car wash. Yeah, they have a car wash in KC up there near the Shane Music headquarters, and some dude came in there and broke open their ATM and took all the money from it. Hey, man. Or not the ATM, but yeah, like where people would pay. <laughs> hey, man, they got that nice ass studio. Tech apparently lived behind a gated community, so I. I, I <laughs> look, I, I don't know what to say too much. Because also, like I said, what do you think about. Oh, look at Seattle. Is that Seattle Cam? Oh, my God. We've, we've got fucking four different viewpoints. And one cam, we are, I said, dude, this is the counter, this is Rebel Headquarters, you don't understand. <laughs> we got these assholes on every angle. Whew. Wow. I had to go over to my grandparents' house to print something off yesterday, and, they, and he had on Fox News in the background. Oh, gosh. Oh, my lord. <laughs> oh, my lord, the shit that I was hearing. Why? What were they saying? I don't. I don't watch that shit because I, I. I hate watching propaganda for no reason. Oh, me too. I wasn't watching that. They just had it on when I went over <laughs> no, there. I and I think it was Tucker Carlson on when I went over was there. Was the CIA guy? Or uh, what's that blonde bitch's name? Oh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know her what name. What the fuck is. would I know? I just know Tucker because of his foreign policy. But yo, I put on my Twitter. He had that CIA dude, and that CIA dude was clutching his pearls. It was funny. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, he's scared. But they were like, because uh, of what was going on in New York, they were like, uh, yeah, the mayor just needs to, the governor needs to overthrow the mayor right now. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> See, they'll call for civil war, they'll call for what, civil war or government overthrow on, on it for that, but not for the, yeah. they're not cool with yeah. it for the system. <laughs> Well, Fox News is a direct Bro, mouthpiece. they started uh, rioting in my town, in Birmingham over here. Yeah, a I saw Huntsville ago. is going strong, though, today. How far is that from you? Huntsville is about an hour away from me. So it's still good? Is he still yeah. happy? All right, so what happened here? Where you are near you? Uh, so in Birmingham, Birmingham is like 10 minutes down the road. Like, How that's the city that? I live in is Birmingham. Birmingham is, I think it's the second largest city in Alabama. Where's the college? It's like... What? Where's the college? The college? Where's uh Alabama University? It's like Saban. Oh, there's University of Alabama Birmingham UAB. No, but where's Saban? I mean, what city is that in? Do you know? That's oh, in right. Tuscaloosa, oh. which is about forty-five minutes from me. What? You are near everything. Holy hell! Or is, is Alabama just all that tight or something? <laughs> no, it's just all the all that shit's kind of in North Birmingham where I live. Oh. Well, I live like right smack in the middle of it, so. <laughs> Huntsville's about an hour north of me. Tuscaloosa is about 45 minutes south. I live in Birmingham. So I'm like near all the major cities, and I live in one of the major cities. But yeah, they. <laughs> what was funny is I was talking to a co worker while they started uh, rioting and shit in Birmingham. And there was like some regular customers that came in to Hibbits that were on the TV. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I know that dude! What's he doing? <laughs> he just threw a fucking brick through a Chick Fil A. What are you doing? <laughs> Chick Fil A. Yeah, dude. They started so in Birmingham. They um, uh, there was a uh, a People's Bank that got completely fucking vandalized. Good. There was a that's a good thing. I think. I'm pretty sure. An ATM right outside the People's Bank that got fucked up. Uh, there was a cell phone repair store that got completely looted and set on fire. <laughs> <laughs> poor, poor. Um, <laughs> they just want to fix stuff. A subway got vandalized. The Chick Fil A got vandalized. There was a a government building. I think a courthouse that got some windows busted out. And then they were heading towards the Wells Fargo down there. And the cops shut that shit down before they could get there. Yeah, they protect the banks. You know they be. <laughs> they started heading towards the Wells Fargo, and it was like <laughs> he was coming out the woodworks. I didn't even know Birmingham had that many cops. They were fucking on it. They shut that shit down. I thought we were going to be Atlanta for a second, have armored vehicles in the streets. <laughs> we had, I mean, they had people posted. Now there's a curfew in Birmingham. You can't, if you're caught out you in Birmingham about... past seven, you're arrested on site. 
How you feel about the police state telling you you can't go outside after a time? I think it's fucked up. Deltron told you in the song Madness, I think it was uh, it was one of them off that album. At least there's a bit about that. Like, right is it's fucked up because right as stores were about to open back up from COVID, now everyone's got to obey by the curfew and close early again. Good, you gotta introduce a little chaos. In order to get upset changed. the established order. Exactly. <laughs> what is that from? Is that what, is that what... That's the you remember that uh Chris Webby song that had Locksmith and Jaron Bitten on it? I don't I don't know. Oh yeah, yeah. And they yeah. Oh, they the sampled guys. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, bad, they they sampled again? the Joker line at the start. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's what Bruce showed the picture for us, but I I, I don't remember it too well, I just know it was good. Uh, That's awesome. <laughs> That's fucking. The Webby verse was solid, and the Locksmith verse is always good. Jaren guess verses all kind of run together for me. They all yeah. sound the same. <laughs> what did you, did you hear the one off that John Connor album with Locke and Jaren? It's the same thing. I feel like I did. Connor, des Connor destroys it. Baron Benton's okay, and then Locke destroys it. Jaren really shines on his solo albums when he makes music type of thing. When he's making songs. But his guest verses are kind of whack. Yeah, because he's not a lyrical, lyrical dude. This is true. <laughs> this is true. Yeah, no offense, but uh, what you speaking of rappers and shit? Real quick, dude, what do you think about uh, Ras Simone out in fucking Seattle? You know what the? Let's fucking go. Bro, I love that shit. This my... <laughs> bro, ISO was out in. Uh... Really? Yeah, ISO was out in KC. I think the other day he posted it on it. his Instagram. Yo, send me that. Put that in the the chat or somewhere. I'm gonna look into. I didn't yeah, know. yeah, yeah. Good. I so. That's my dude. Oh, that guy's. <laughs> I mean, he said the ice soldiers, man. He there. I said. Yeah, let me man, go to his Instagram quick. I'll put it in the chat. If strange wanted, they could fucking get a fucking a strange RB. We <laughs> 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 show up. Yeah, I so was out in the middle of that shit. He, he posted a little snippet. He didn't have like a stream going on, but. Whoa, Chicago, huge. I was like, you know what, ISO, good for you. <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, all right. Well, that's good to hear. He's there. Killer Mike's been vocal hella in Atlanta. Uh, Bun B and Trey the Truth were bit big in H Town in Houston. That was fucking dope. Uh, Waiting for Gotti to be smoking that firecrack in the middle of everyone. Huh? Uh, fucking uh, Priceless retweeted that one verse, Revolution verse. Um, that shit's fire. Uh, I don't know what the I can't. It's from like a feature or something, but it's really good. It's like a minute long too. It's good, and uh, but Raz Simone, like I said, the, he's he was leading it though. He was he was fucking he was with the bullhorn. He brought his fucking Tesla out, his fucking van whippo. He fucking and they had speakers all hooked up. And he he talked. He said he's gonna they're gonna do a fucking uh a, a, they're gonna police themselves. He donated a building towards that, uh, and they're doing donos for that. Uh, but just that Raz Simone, like someone that I've fucked with for years now, that makes amazing music. And a very talented and, and passionate and, and good person is there too. And now you're seeing art, uh, you know, art imitating life type of thing. Yeah, it's dope to see actual, like, dudes who we listen to talk about this shit actually be on the grounds like, yeah, I told you motherfuckers. <laughs> I just found it ironic that that ISO album released not too long ago and now this shit's happening. Bro, that's, <laughs> Bro, that's what that RTJ4 is, like. That, they didn't re-record anything. Like, this was all coming. And yeah, I agree with you. That's why I asked Bruce. I was like, do we miss something in the ISO album? Because I don't remember him talking anything about anything like this. It was all more mental health and, and, and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, it was for sure. So I was really But he, he says little references, you know, about people going to war with him and he's but ready for battle and shit like that. Yeah, but but it, it was... I wasn't sure what, it wasn't, that was um, gang war shit or, or police. Like, no. I don't know. I mean, he kind of like... Drew in references, but most of it was about mental health. Yeah, so I was so confused. That's what me and Bruce said. Like, Wars, I was like, this shit built for this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do find training for battle ironic now, though. Because uh, that whole thing was a war could pop off any day soon. We in here training for battle. <laughs> I mean, maybe... Well, there you go. You might have, you might be right, then. Maybe there was some hints. That's a good point. I forgot. That song, I said... That song was fucking insane. Like, you see, uh, <laughs> you see all the shit going down with Drew Brees. <laughs> Somebody commented it best. 
He just put a bow- he put a hit out on himself. Yeah, he did. <laughs> it's like what a dumbass. Like, what are you doing? Fuck. But- Saints dropped his ass real quick. <laughs> they were like, we ain't dealing with this PR. Uh, Bruce said, uh, I think Bruce said Michael Thomas was gunning him down. There were several dudes gunning him down. Josh Jacobs was gunning his ass down. <laughs> he and Oak, yo, Oakland people don't fucking play. He's from Bama. Oh, is he? Okay. Yeah, he's from um, Mobile, Alabama, which is about a two-hour drive from me down south. Dope. He played at the University of Alabama, Tuscaloosa, and then got drafted by Oakland. He was gunning Drew down. <laughs> it's like, you go, boy! <laughs> Cause, cause, uh, so, so you saw Aaron Rodgers. What he said, he did, he did good, very good, actually. Yeah, I saw what Aaron Rodgers I said. I said people don't even gotta like support the. If you just do what Rodgers did and just be respectful, like that's what you do. But that's a lot to ask. I feel for. like that's what most people try to do, and Drew's just so. Uh, I think it was Josh Jake. No, who was it? Ah, who was it? it wasn't Josh Jacob? Somebody came out on uh, Twitter when the Drew Brees things first dropped, and he was like, does this really surprise anyone? All these white quarterbacks got to be Captain America. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, damn. I, I, I said, They're firing shots. I said, Drew Brees is more upset, he, more upset about, <laughs> I don't remember the phrasing, but it was just that he was more upset about the illusion of freedom that <laughs> than the reality that America is 1984. or something like that. <laughs> That's another way to phrase it, though. And I was like, exactly. Like, they're just in denial with reality. Uh, but what do you expect from, I like I said, what do you expect that. from a guy that gets a fucking record and the whole time stops for like 10 minutes and he hugs and kids and shit? What do you, you think that guy's going to be sympathetic to reality? Come on. You know, <laughs> these people, so it's... Gay witches against white supremacy. <laughs> I don't know if they're legit, but it's funny. <laughs> oh, my. Breathe it, um, and then uh, cause cause you saw Roger said, and then I heard Sims. I only heard I only heard him like for this this week. Really, I, I haven't been listening to anything else but this or something to take my mind off of this. Either way, so I don't know if sports and, and hearing Sims talk about it. But he did say that he's in the locker room. You know, some of his best friends were black, and uh, you know, like they talk. It was like if Sims and, and and the big one though is Sims smokes weed he understands that the whole drug war is bogus shit to enslave to, to fucking enslave people like Sims Sims can get it from different angles it's like you know there's no excuse yeah. like Sims has a brain but that's cause he smoked you know, cause of <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> I'm trying to post this in the discord real quick I take your time I'm, I'm... I don't I'll watch it after this when I stop recording, I guess. It's a big one in Chicago. Providence still. Bro, uh, did you see uh, the Hawkeye trend? That dude that came out there and was had the bow? Uh-uh. Oh, wait. Yeah, that guy. So. <laughs> and he shot that one dude with a bow, and then he got jumped by like 15 <laughs> people. <laughs> it's like, what the shit is going on? I, I've... People tweaking. The dude man. in the background, he <laughs> yelling like, "Oh, put the bow down!" And he shot that one dude, and you hear one guy in the back, "Get him!" <laughs> <He's fucking laughs> his ass. I mean, to be fair, he shot first, right? Oh, for sure. I mean, technically, he shot first. Plus, did you see earlier was walking around with the knife and shit? He fucking yeah, dude. Yeah, it's fucking crazy. crazy. Crazy ass white dude. It's like you, just, <laughs> you could have stayed home and not act like a psycho person, but you was like, "I'm gonna go out." If I could go around. <laughs> just, just that dude in the background, man, had me die. Get him. And then all of a sudden, people just started swarming out, from, like, not even in the screen. Just came out of nowhere. Just hopped his ass. Dude, there's been tweakers, man. There was a tweaker chick breaking shit in Portland the other night. And in fucking Seattle, this dude named Mustard Seed. I don't know if this dude was trolling, if it was a comedy bit, if the guy really was a tweaker. But he gave the most fucked up speech for, like, ten minutes and just kept going on. During Raz and Simone's shit, and he really killed the vibe. <laughs> he was talking, <laughs> just homeless on the dude. Shit. Yo, did but I put up a vid on uh, from Seattle that from last night. They uh, when everything was really tense. At one point, though, some guys uh, jumped the fence, one with an umbrella and one with a bundle of flowers, and started laying them down throughout the area. 
And uh, after that, that was kind of when everything kind of changed. Everything went towards peaceful. It was crazy. Because <laughs> it was tense, man. They thought, <laughs> but he just threw some flowers and the guy was waving the umbrella, spinning it back and forth towards the cops and shit. It's so funny. Upside down American flag in D.C. About time. <sighs> Man, I missed the fucking. <laughs> you did miss the fun shit though when the when the cops are basically fighting the fucking people <laughs> when they're throwing the tear gas and shit. They're chucking them back and kicking them and shit. And they're I shooting... shared that in our general chat. But uh, appreciate that. But but in the earlier earlier in these protests, there was a lot of fireworks shooting back at cops. It was it was literally a fucking war. It was crazy. But that was what, that was what this dude's family chat. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Shit, wrong button. I accidentally threw him. <laughs> you pussy. Oh, I guess we'll stop that there. Things going on good everywhere. <laughs> 